Uh, they both equal y, so we're going to set them equal to each other. Okay, and then what, y'all? Equal to zero. So we're going to move this stuff, right? We don't want that to be negative. Don't mess with that at all. So minus 4x squared plus 2 minus, oh, minus 4x plus 2. So, yep, it's a zero there, and then this is x plus 2 squared uh, minus 4x, and then we can do the 6 and the 2. Okay, bring what? Can you factor that? What is x minus 2 factored to? It's already factored. Remember, this is already factored. But, like, I can't solve when x is written more than once. x is written twice here. you got to get this x out of parentheses. Oh, How can yeah. I get that out of parentheses? You want to put a, I mean, a square root under all that? That looks pretty scary to me. So instead of undoing... What's being squared? Let's just square it. Let's just go ahead and square this. How do you square that? You foil it. We're going to go ahead and multiply this out. So remember, first outer and our last. So your first two terms, x times x, that's x squared. Y'all, what's the two outside terms? What's a 2 and an x? Yeah. Oh, the two inside terms, a 2 and an x. 2x. It's always going to be like that for these problems. The inside and the outside are going to match. Your last term is a 4. Okay, that is going right back where it came from. As soon as we're done, we'll take a little break. That's going right back where it came from, guys. So I'm going to recopy the 0. Recopy the equals, and I'm going to go ahead and write x squared, y'all don't forget that's 4x, plus 4x, plus 4, plus 4, and then don't forget all this other stuff that was already there, minus 4x, minus 4. x squared. Yeah, everything cancels out, except x squared. Y'all, what is x equal? Okay, so now we have to, we have the answer for x. We have to go back and get the answer for y. And again, guys, I am just going to use the simplest equation possible. So I'm going to use this one right here. So y equals 4x minus 2. Guys, what is y equal? Negative 2. Negative 2. Don't forget, you have to write your answer as an ordered pair. Wait. How many solutions do we have here? One. Yes, we do have one. So b squared minus 4ac has to equal what? Zero. Good. Um, let's go back and recap. So we set them equal to each other. I don't think I need the color. So equal to each other and then what did we do here we didn't factor we set equal to zero and then what why did we foil guys too many x's you can never, ever solve for any x unless you are only writing it once. So um, look at this system, guys. When you have y equals something with an x here, and when you have y equals something with an x stuck inside parentheses, you're always going to foil. If you have parentheses and x is on both sides, you're always going to foil. 
So we did have to foil. And after we foiled, we solved. Why did I foil? I just told you. You tell me. Why did I foil? Too many X's. And that X is trapped inside what? Parentheses. You couldn't get it out unless you squared it.